We're gonna set up crowd control. This is a tool where viewers can interact with your game on Twitch using coins. You can either connect this to bits or to donations for charity streams. I'm gonna use this for charity streams this month, the whole month of May. I'm doing charity streams on Twitch. If you wanna donate, you can do that via the QR code here. We're gonna go to the crowd control website. I will leave the link down below in the description. And then here we can download the tool. Click on the setup you downloaded and then it will start this. We can just log in with our Twitch, authorize it, login successful. All right, welcome to Crown Control. You need any guidance questions, check out the Discord. So you can just click here for the Discord server and you can ask any questions. They also have some videos here. So I'm gonna click on continue and I'm gonna set this up with Stardew Valley. So I'm gonna click on Stardew Valley. Here we can always change which game we wanted to, but Stardew Valley is the one that we're doing and they're supporting 1.6. So they support the newest version. If you click on this, we can go to the game guide. So this is the Stardew Valley game guide, but it will work kind of the same for all the other games, right? Select Stardew Valley from the app. Well, we did that, right? Steam, this should auto select the path for you or order. So here it says pack loaded Steam game path select. So it already noticed it's installed on Steam. And here we need to click on install. All right. Whoops, I copied this, but I just need to type one. Install it, yeah, one. If you don't use Steam, launch the Stardew Mod API X, but we're gonna use Steam with it because that's just the easiest. If you use Steam, set your launch option to enable achievements. To make the mods work, what we need to do is we need to copy this text. Make sure that you copy it with these dash thing thingies and with the command part in it. Then we go to Steam, right click on Stardew Valley, properties, and then here, launch options, put it in here. So the whole thing with this and with the command in it. Now, basically when we launch this through Steam, it will automatically run to the mods producer. This, this, the Stardew modding API will immediately run. All right, now it says completed. We can just click that away. And now we need to launch the game. So I'm gonna go to Steam, click on play. As you can see, we can get this little pop-up and I'm right in the thing, it says awaiting connector. We're gonna load a save. Attempting to connect card control, connected to card control. So right here it says, you're almost ready to start. Remember that you copy your interactive link and share a pin into your chat. So copy interactive link, copy and okay. And now we need to start the session. And now people can start messing with my stuff. This is the queue here, we can see what happens. So if you don't know what's gonna happen and stuff like that, you can see what effects people use right here. Now to have people being able to use it, we need to share that link. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the extension. So I'm gonna go to my creator dashboard, then here click on extensions. Now what we can do is we can add the crowd control. If you don't see it right here, you can just type it here and you'll find it too. And then we need to activate it as an overlay. For some reason it keeps loading forever on my browser and I'm not sure why. So I'm quickly here on Edge. <laughs> Got all pop-ups because this is my first thing I'm logging in on Edge, but it's fine. And I'm gonna activate it as overlay. See, and now it immediately works. So not sure what was up with Firefox. So if you have the same issue, just open a different browser. It worked fine on Edge, it worked fine on Chrome, but it didn't want to work on Firefox for me. There will be a little pop-up thing on your stream where people can hover over the, this icon, the crowd control icon and interact with crowd control. Here we have an interact menu session thing. So we can copy this. And then here, we, this is basically what they see. So they can, I don't have the session one anymore. So what they can do is they can see, oh, here, which effects can they use? So these are all the things they can do with Sartre Valley, which coins, can they use? They will get 50 for free. They get another 500 for being a sub. And then they can buy more coins right here. They can buy with Stripe or with PayPal, or if they do it on Twitch itself. So if you don't do it through this link, you can do it with bits. And uh, I'm gonna also explain how to do it with charity streams as well. An activity is basically a list of things that they've done. So if you copy this link, this is basically the link where they can buy it for money. So they can buy coins for money. If they open it on your Twitch, on that overlay, they will buy it with Twitch bits instead. So this one is with real money. The other one is with bits, which in a sense is also real money. So now we're gonna go to configure and coins. So here we can say 
bonus coins for tier 1 sub, tier 2 sub, tier 3 sub. So tier 3 is 500 coins, tier 2 is 250 coins, and tier 1 is an under 100 coins. Everyone can get 50 coins for free. You can see that it will look like this in the overlay as well. And we can basically change these or the amounts and the refresh time and stuff like that, but you can only do that if you have the paid subscription of Crowd Control Pro, which I don't have. Here we have options. We can have sound effects on, we can send pull effects, send coin of exchange events, automatically activate extension on a session start. So if we start the session, it will automatically also start on Twitch. You can also do the other way around. If we stop the session, they will also stop the overlay extension and you can have it in your chat bot as well you can basically disable that if you do not want that now we also have charity right here and this is what i want to do i want to do a charity stream with it link is supported to the fight and fade directly via its id what you need to know is you need to set up Tiltify first. You cannot do this with the charity streams via Twitch. I do have a tutorial on how to use Tiltify and how to set up your charity streams to Tiltify. I'll leave that in the card above. So make sure that to watch that first and set that up first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tiltify. I'm going to sign in with my Twitch. Uh, I'm a fundraiser, Twitch. Alrighty. And I want to do it for the campaign tree for St. Jude's. This is the campaign. So if we go to setup right here and then we go to information, we do have public ID right here. We're going to copy that and then paste it right here and I'm going to search it. And it says tree and St. Jude's is in 24. So I'm going to play for this charity. And now we can see I haven't started raising money yet, but our goal is thousand bucks and everybody that donated through this campaign we'll get coins we can click on visit campaign page to make sure that we have the right campaign here i'll leave the link to this campaign underneath in the description if you would like to donate for saint jude it will be open the whole month of may in 2024 if you're watching this in 2025 because it's probably still you know relevant we're doing it every year in may so there will be a new campaign but not this campaign link anymore but there will be a new campaign if you want to use this with Twitch bits and with the money they spent on that website instead, you can see that you have a $50 minimum payout. So they will just save up the money until you have 50 bucks and then they will pay out. And you can start onboarding here in the overview section. You can also use their overlays and alerts if you would like. You can do that right here and that will just be a browser source and you can copy the browser source and paste them in your OBS or your Streamlabs desktop. In the game library, we can see all the games they use. For some retro games, it might be a little bit harder to set it up. You can go to game paths and tell them where your dolphin and your emulators are. For other games, if you install them with Steam, they'll be in here. They will know where it is, basically. If you're gonna stream, make sure that you start the session, start the charity session or start session, because if you do not do that, well, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty simple. Uh, you can set it up using money, bits, and charity streams. Basically works the same for any game, so you can set them up all now. Yeah. Again, make sure to check out my Tiltify tutorial right here if you want to set it up for charity streams. Here, cool things to improve your stream. Right here, you need to subscribe because you do not want to miss anything, do you? <laughs> and YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. So I hope you're going to like it.